Uh, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Artisan. In today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a dribble tutorial. And you guys can see in these clips, I'm absolutely cooking up. But you know what I mean? I hopped on with a random to get these clips. You know what I'm saying? We was before, and this dude shoots a late, bro. Like, come on, bro. Okay. But you know what I mean? Like I was saying, I hopped on with a random to get these clips. Because you know what I mean? I'm trying to get clips for my dribble tutorial. You know what I'm saying? And this dude was absolutely launching me. He just kept giving the ball back. And I'm like, bro, bro, come on, bro. Come on. And so I knew he, my teammate couldn't shoot. He kept giving them the ball back. And so I'm like, I have to dribble all these dudes two on one now. So in these clips, you guys can clearly see these dribble moves are crazy, bro. Like these dribble moves are crazy. I'm going two on one against these dudes. And like, they still can't guard me. Like they still, they, they really cannot guard me still. I'm playing them two on one. I don't trust my teammate to shoot in the corner. And so I'm just going two on one. But um, yeah, these dribble moves are absolutely crazy. So make sure to stay tuned for the entire video. I'm going to be going over every single build that I have. So 85, 80, as well as 75 and 70 for the moves. I'm going to be showing you guys in this video. So if you have any builds with those ball controls, make sure to stay tuned. As well as if you could please hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. I really appreciate everyone who's that sub button. We are on the road to 40K. So I'm trying to hit that before 2K23 comes out. You know what I'm saying? 2K23 drops in a few months. So if we could hit 40K before then, that would be absolutely insane. As well as if you guys did find me off this video, you know what I'm saying? Drop a comment saying I subbed. I will like it, heart it, whatever. And uh, yeah, so if you are a new sub, just comment down new sub or I subbed. And yeah, I'll heart it. Do whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't want to waste too much time. And let's get straight into this bagger, man. All right, hopping into this video. Hopefully, like I said in the intro, we are going to be doing like separate builds. I hope I said that in the intro. So right now, I am on my play shot. And then I'll be moving to builds that have a 70, 75, and 80 ball control. That way, you guys can know, like, you know what I mean? If you have like a 75 ball control, you could just skip to the part of the video where I'm at a 75 ball control. And I'm gonna give you guys the drum moves and badges I use on each of my builds that has that ball control. So I mean, you guys can match exactly with what build you have and learn the best moves at that dribble rating. So let's go ahead and start off with the first build obviously is the playmaking shot creator. This build has like a 97 ball control, but the main factor is that it has an 85 plus. Now, if you have any build with an 85 plus ball control, these drum moves are going to apply to you as well as the badges I'm about to give y'all. Now, if you have 85 plus ball control, I'm assuming that you probably have at least 18 to 20 playmaking badges because if you have an 85 plus, you're most likely going to be in half playmaking pie chart at least. So important badges for an 85 plus ball control or for dribbling in general are gonna be quick chain, quick first step, handles for days, and tight handles. These are gonna be really, really important to put on if you are dribbling and are, you know what I mean, try to get better at dribbling. Other badges you're gonna need like unpluckable, bullet pass or bronze bailout bronze and if you have 20 badges right here you're a half yellow you get 20 badges easily you could definitely do this setup right here if you guys have less than this i'd probably worry about i'd probably take tight handles off tight handles is like tight handles is very important but in my opinion all the other badges are absolute must-haves so if you have around 20 badges i would do something like this and i have 26 so i'm just gonna bump my floor journal up put on some dimer help my teammates hit their shots that way you know what i mean when i'm dribbling up when i'm cooking up and then I hit my teammate, they're not missing wide open, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, these would be the badges I'm gonna run with 26. So you know I mean? if you're a pure playmaker build, you have a bunch, this is something I would run. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly go through my drum moves right here. I reset them, so I'm just gonna quickly go down the line one by one. And like I said, if you guys are looking, these are the 85 plus drum moves. If you guys are looking for other drum moves at rating 70, 75, and 80, I'm gonna get to that in a little bit. So make sure to stay tuned for that. But starting out with the dribble style, it is going to be quick. Now, Steve Nash is pretty good as well, but I just think quick is the absolute best dribble style. For signature size ups, you guys can see, I've tested out a lot of signature size ups. And the best one for me is still a season one. It is Derek Rose. Now for signature combo, I would go for R Austin, Ray for Austin. Size up escape package. I like Trey Young, especially on like super high ball control builds. Damian Lillard is also good, as well as you got Steph Curry if you want the Curry slide. But for me, I still like Trey Young. For moving crossover, the best one in the game is LeBron. Um, I've tested out other ones, but LeBron is just the best one. Moving behind the back is going to be Scotty Pippen or Damian Lillard if you want a little bit different one, but Scotty Pippen is definitely the best one. Moving spin, we leave that on basic. Moving hesitation does not matter, but like it, it doesn't matter. I just put on KD. 
and uh, moving step back the last move you can see i tested out a few but uh, jimmy butler is definitely the best okay hopping into the main drum moves for this build now there's nothing really too advanced in these drum moves it's going to be the more basic i'm not going to go over the super basic so like if you guys don't know how to do it between the legs you just flick your left stick to the side bro like i'm not going to go over like how to do it between the legs like you guys can you guys can uh you guys can figure that out but you know what i mean a simple rule for this video is anything that's between the legs whether it's moving standing is going to be to the right or left like directly it's going to be the opposite ball hand right or left like straight right or left a crossover is going to be diagonal up left or right and a behind the back is going to be diagonal down left or right so on a build with 85 plus ball control one of the most deadly things you could do is the d rose size up package and that is going to be a standing crossover so you know what i mean like i was saying diagonal up left if the ball's in my right hand diagonal up left on on the right stick and then you just hold rt and run after you you know what i mean you can't you can't be holding art you can't hold rt while you do the move but as soon as you do the move then you're gonna start holding rt and you're gonna run so just like this you guys can see this move right here it is very very glitchy very very glitchy and especially when you start comboing that move it's just going to get better and better now the second move is definitely going to be the size up escape package if anyone has an 85 plus ball control you know what i mean this is also going to be one of your most deadly moves now for this it's going to be the same as the standing crossover now we're just going to hold rt the entire time and flick diagonal up left and right and you guys can see this is the move you know what i mean it's going to give us now another move i like to do is what i call the pullback and what this move is is right here this is the pullback and how to do this move is very very simple i feel like a lot of people get confused by this move is up on the right stick and down on the left stick at the same time and you guys could just spam it if you want with a high enough ball control when you we get into later builds you might not be able to spam it but for now if you're on an 85 plus ball control you could easily spam this and honestly these are the three main moves you like if you get these three moves down like you can dribble like extremely well so watch me combo on this build with literally those only only those three moves the pullback the size of escape package and the size up package and i can literally just combo like i could just stay here sit here all day and combo with these three moves only i don't need any other moves you know what i'm saying i can switch up which direction i'm going which move i do it off of and it, it just it, it makes it really really unpredictable for the defender and you guys saw in the intro like i literally hopped on with like a random and you know what i mean i was cooking two people i don't have to do anything like absolutely insane all i gotta do is these simple moves and they'll get me open so you know what i'm saying if you want to learn how to like go in circles and like just do nothing like i mean you guys can learn that but on, on, honestly like that stuff's not going to make you a better player if you guys just learn these three simple moves and learn how to combo them together you honestly would be a way better player i normally use screens on my play shot and i, I know i know people people would be like oh you use screens like you suck at the game like nah bro like I, you know sometimes i want to iso and sometimes i want to take a screen you know what i mean that's okay so in my opinion iso is actually harder to defend but you know I me mean? we're not going to get into that argument today and so if you are taking screens you really do not need anything else than that another move actually you don't necessarily need it all but it definitely can help you is going to be the jimmy butler you know what i mean step back right here you can even step back and then shoot off of it pretty pretty fast and overall it's just gonna be a quick little move you could do if you are you know what i mean trying to break down your defender and last and final thing on this build it doesn't actually have to do with dribbling but it is still like an animation in the game and that's fading if you have a high three ball i'd say like 80 plus you can literally just fade every play so if you're struggling you know what i mean if you got two defenders on you and they're doubling you and you can't get a shot off go to the go to the right side or go to the left side and just fade in the corner like that it's honestly really really overpowered and fading mid ranges in the game are absolutely broken you didn't hear it from me but um yeah they're absolutely disgusting in this game all right now i am on my point power forward now and on this build i have around an 80 ball control and like i said you know what i'm saying we're gonna go over badges your moves and then dribble tutorial and then we're gonna move on to the next build and we're gonna go until you know I me mean, we get over the 70 ball control but yeah let's get straight into it so the badges right here you guys can see i have 27 badges on this player and i feel like a lot of people aren't gonna have that with only like an 80 ball control build this is just a super tall pure yellow so i'm gonna give you badges for like 16 to 20 because i feel like that's more acceptable range to have if you only have like an 80 ball control and so the most important badges are gonna be the same from the play shot it's just gonna be quick chain quick first step handles for days unpluckable bullet passer bailout and if you have you know i mean the extra badges you can put on tight handles a little bit 
um me i'm gonna run side handles hall of fame because just because i can you know why not just because i can and with seven badges left i might put it on like bullet passer up a little bit I and mean, then i'm just gonna run floor general and dimer because you know what i mean when we're isoing and you know, they double team me i don't want my teammate to miss bro that's like the whole point and if they still missing with floor general and dimer you can call them trash you know what i'm saying and then it's just fun you can just yell at them the whole time and call them trash but yeah these are probably the badges i would run with this build and let's go on and get into the dribble moves the most important thing okay for the dribble style it is going to be quick as well and i think most builds it's going to be quick most builds can get quick you need like a 75 speed with ball which is a little different than ball control but if you have like a 70 75 ball control and you're like fast if you're like 80 85 speed you should be able to get it speed with ball is like a combination of uh speed and ball control it's like 70 percent speed and 30 percent ball control so you guys can do the math if you want but yeah quick for pretty much every single build signature size up is going to be De'Aaron fox now if you do not you know i mean if you can't get d rose De'Aaron fox is the next best thing and you only need an 80 ball control for De'Aaron fox so De'Aaron fox is definitely a good one to have on signature combo i don't use i have chris paul on i don't know why i have chris paul on but uh, yeah i don't use this move for size up escape package now you guys can see i like trey young on my other build but this build i like damian look because i'm icing on this build and when I ISO, I like Damian Lillard. When I take screens, I like Trey Young. So if you're ISOing, definitely put on Damian Lillard. Moving crossover is going to be the same LeBron James. Moving me on the back is also going to be the same. It's going to be Scottie Pippen. And I feel like this applies to most, most builds. I, I think maybe only one build can't get it. The 70 ball control. But for most builds, they can get like these basic moves. Moving spin is going to be basic. Just the best spin in the game. Moving Hezzy. I don't really use a move, but I have Luka on. And finally, moving step back is going to be Jimmy Butler. I believe every single build can get this. And this is definitely a move you want on every single build. Okay. And moving into the actual dribble tutorial. I mean, I'm going to give you guys a few moves for this build as well. Now, obviously, we have the main moves from the last part as well. We have the standing crossover. You know, I mean, the standing size up. We have the size of escape package right here. And you know what I'm saying? This is just the Damian Lillard. It looks a little bit different than Trey Young. And then we have the pullback as well, obviously. So we have the three moves we did on the play shot, as well as actually the four moves. We have the Jimmy Butler step back. You know what I'm saying? Um, but we're going to be adding one on this player. We're going to be adding one. And that move is going to be this step back right here. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. Like it, it's borderline. Like you don't need any other drum moves. Like you could just use this one drum move and just keep going like this. And then if they guard you, just like do it again. Like the, it, it's it's that good. It's 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 really, really good. It's very, very unpredictable. And that's what you really want to be when you're dribbling. But you know, I me mean, quickly going over how to do each move. The standing crossover is just going to be diagonal up left or right opposite ball hand. So my ball is my right. So it's going to be diagonal up left right here. And you guys can see that's the standing crossover. Now, standing crossover escape is going to be holding RT now, and it's going to be diagonal up opposite ball hand. So diagonal up right holding RT, and it's going to give me that. The pullback is up on the right stick, down on the left stick, and um, you guys can see right there. Done it perfectly. You can spam it on this build. And finally, the AI step back, as most people like to call it, because it was Allen Iverson size of the package in 2K20. To do that, you just hold RT and flick down on the right stick. And when you combo these together, you know what I'm saying? When you combo these moves together, you can really just beat your defender really that easy. You know what I'm saying? Like these moves combo together, even with only an 80 ball control, you don't even have the max ball control to like dribble, to get dribble moves. You could do all these crazy moves. And even when I'm on ISO, you guys just saw that spin back move right there. To do that, it's between the legs. So straight to the left, assuming the ball's in my right hand. And then we're going to go from 12 to 6 o'clock counterclockwise. And finally, you're going to tap LT at the end. And it just looks like this. You know what I'm saying? Very, very simple. Very, very easy. And you could go ahead and put all these moves together. Um, there's not really any other moves I even use, to be honest. Like, I use the momentum sometimes. If you want to know how to do the momentum, you flick up on the right stick and left or right opposite ball hand. You know, everything is going to be to your opposite ball hand. If, yeah, if you didn't get that already, everything is going to be the opposite ball hand. So you go up on the right stick and opposite ball hand left stick straight and hold it you know what i'm saying and you do something like this and then you can even combo it with the pullback and combo it with everything else and the main thing is kind of just getting the muscle memory down for like each move and then learning what moves to do what moves combo into other moves and just stuff like that and you're gonna get it down and you know you just be way better and be your defender and just overall be way better at dribbling but yeah finally there's, there's really not too many other moves i even use besides these like this is literally like every move in the game like there's not too many moves in the game there's actually one more i don't usually use it 
but it is a good move it's gonna be this misdirection like crossover between the legs you can even do it behind the back doesn't matter it just depends which way you flick your right stick you're gonna if the ball is in my right hand right here i'm gonna flick my right stick to the left and my left stick to the right it sounds confusing but that's the move you get a lot of people probably know this move but they just don't know how to do it and this is the move you get and you could even do it behind the back and as a crossover too and yeah i don't really use this move because uh, it's just i don't have the muscle every day it's not like it's not like ingrained in me to like automatically do it like all these other moves are i mean i can like close my eyes and do all these drum moves just fine um i got the muscle memory down like to move my sticks in a certain direction every single time to like do all these moves but this move i don't but like i said if you guys want to learn that move you could even do this little thing like this little combo right here like and just cancel it mid thing and do the ai step back but if you guys get that down it is a really really good combo as well so that would be for 80 ball control and honestly this applies to even if you have a lower ball control a lot of these moves apply all right guys now we are in the last and final build because i did skip 75 ball control because the 70 and 75 ball control are going to be very very similar it's going to be one move which i'll tell you guys to change but if you are for a 75 ball control watch this part of the video specifically it is very important Anyway, so doing the badges right here, you guys can see I only have nine on this build because, you know what I'm saying, when you do not have that high of a ball control, you're only going to have like nine, but it's going to be the basics. If you guys didn't watch the other parts of this video, go and watch them for the badges. If you do have like more than nine badges, I mean, this build is not really meant to like play make. That's why it only is like a 70 ball control. But yeah, quick first step, handles for days, unpluckable, uh, not ankle breaker, bailout and quick chain. This is probably what I would run. Um, these are like the most important fundamental badges you absolutely need to be running. So if you have nine playmaking badges, here you go. All right, now getting into the animations right here, starting off with the dribble style, it is gonna be quick and there is only one dribble move that is different from 70 to 75. So I'll get to that when I get to that. I believe it is the behind the back, but yeah, dribble style definitely is gonna be quick. Signature size up is gonna be Jimmy Butler. You could use this for 75. I don't believe you can get De'Aaron Fox at 75. So Jimmy Butler is definitely gonna be your best bet. Four signature combos. I do use Luca, but you know what I mean? Like I said, like this, this doesn't really matter. Like the signature combo, like I do not use is if you want to know how to do it, it's just up on the right stick, holding RT up on the right stick, flick it. But you know what I mean? It's not really that good of a move. Size of escape package is going to be LeBron James. Now you could also run Luca Doncic for size of escape package, whether you have a 70 or 75, they're both pretty good. I prefer LeBron because that's the AI step back that I was talking about before. But yeah, I definitely prefer LeBron and it, it's this move is not going to change from 70 to 75 is going to be lebron so moving crossover is going to be lebron you get this on any ball control you get like 70 75 80 and 85 so whatever build you're on put lebron james moving crossover on now moving behind the back you literally do not unlock any of the moving behind the back than 70 but at 75 you can get scotty pippen which is the best one so, i mean if you have 70 you're kind of stuck with normal i don't i try to avoid the behind the back on this build because you know I me mean? it's not very good but if you are at 75 then please go ahead and put scotty pippen on basic spin you can get this on any build moving hesitation does not really matter but you know I me mean? i put on larry bird just because it's the one i unlock and finally the moving step back is gonna be jimmy butler you can get this on any build like i was saying and it's just a really really good like has he got it's kind of like the moving hesitation but i just like it better so i use the moving step back instead these two moves right here the moving hesitation the moving step back are like the same like they, they do the same thing so move, use the moving step back instead not the moving hesitation and uh, yeah these are the dribble moves for 70 ball control and even 75 you just put scotty pippen for the, the back if you have a 75 and finally like there's really not too many dribble moves you could do on a boat like this because you only have 70 so you gotta kind of get down there's a couple moves you gotta just get down and learn now obviously if you didn't watch the other parts of this video we have the standing crossover and the standing size of escape which is this and this right here you guys can see these are very very basic compared to the other ones but don't get me wrong they're definitely still usable especially when you have this quick dribble style right here you know what i'm saying you could definitely still do some of these moves but as you guys can probably tell the main move is going to be this ai step back it's really just the best move to get around it's like the only really fast move this build can get and honestly it's still great for getting around and um you know i mean breaking down your opponent so yeah if you don't know how to do this if you didn't watch the other parts you hold RT and just flick down on the right stick and it does this move. And then you even saying you could just speed boost out of it, whether you uh, move your left stick left or right, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, it's very, very simple. And you could even do the pullback, which is down on the left stick, up on the right stick, but you could not spam it on this player. It's, it's very, very slow. So I would try to limit that to, to just one, you know what I'm saying? Just one and then, you know I me mean, do whatever move out of that. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be about it for dribbling on a player like this. If you guys want more detailed dribble moves, um, you can go watch the other sections of this video if you haven't already. 
And you know what I'm saying? You could even do the spin back on this player. Um, hold on, let me do it right here. You can, okay, uh, I'm, I'm messing up. Okay, it, it, two guy, two guy just doesn't like me today, but um, spin back. Okay, there we go. You guys can see, you could do the spin back on this player. I was just messing up. It's not, you could definitely, you can do it every time if, you, if you're good at it, but I was just messing up. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for the gym moves in this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, you know what I'm saying? Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on this road to 40K. So if you can hit that sub button, it'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. As well as drop a like if this video did help you out. I put a lot of time, like I literally been recording for like an hour here, trying to make this video the best possible. And I'm probably gonna have to go edit it for like a few hours too, to make it the best possible, easiest to understand for beginners, because that's what this video is for. But yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out, man. Peace.